her heart's tongue fern claws down crevices gulps the wind a biologist inhales balsam fur flops belly down into snake slither i'd love to do that. don't you wish you could fly like a like a a hawk or a falcon right and just like lose it totally and be, be the beautiful logic of touch never lose a holy curiosity said einstein so if i'm a snake up goes my rattle and i start to buzz I met a man who took a GPS reading of a hill where he counted 2,000 hearts, tongue, friends. Get on your knees here. Put your hand down and feel about it. You feel about 10 degrees difference on your hand mm -hmm. from, from your elbow. Um, let's keep moving. From any shape, a circle, an asterisk, a single point, purple stemmed cliff break. See the spores on the back? I'll turn it over. Are all curled up in that little eaves, oh, well. eaves trough, just like a little eaves trough there. And the spores are very small. Why we feel good around ferns. Their fractal cadence, green iterations. What you're looking at is the indusium, which encloses the spores in each little round rosette or in this case it's kind of like I know a poet who takes ferns hostage she wants heart's tongue netted chain ostrich this is a, a spleen wart right I'm just gonna borrow a stem here for you show you where the name comes from you had long hair and you braided it down the back of your neck isn't that what the braid would look like similar right so they called it maidenhair spleenwort. Mm -hmm. Who would braid their hair and make it look like that? And spleenwort because they used to make uh, a tincture of this. Ferns take me hostage. I do what they say. Spread spores. No one gets hurt. <laughs> 